very good morning to all the children beta uh you can see the screen i have shared this is the latest uh, sample paper shared by cbsc so we will be discussing the uh, format of and i'll be writing on the board for you people and the children sitting at home online children beta you can see in front of you yes now uh, section a reading that day i discussed fine but this paper was not discussed that day ryan you can leave the class immediately you can leave the class i do not want any sort of disturbance ye kaise baithe ho Vivan, can you do the favor for me to adjust this desk? If any disturbance comes now, you will be moving to office right now. So yes, beta, let me continue with this. Three sections they have mentioned in the paper. Three sections, not four. Right? In section A, reading, fourteen questions they have mentioned, but number of question can vary. I am discussing the sample paper. Fine. One into fourteen, fourteen questions will be there. All MCQs throughout MCQs. Fine, all papers are based on MCQs only. In which, better two comprehensions will be given to you, not one. So you see that when we read a passage, it takes time. Don't think it ki easily kar lenge MCQs hi. No, it takes time. So passages can be based on facts. Based on data, analytical paragraph, data interpretation, जैसे करते थे bar graphs, pie charts, anything can be there. Uh, any event can be written, any fact related, fine. Any story can be there. So discursive passages, fine. Just uh, any knowledge about a particular topic, fine. So these kinds of paragraphs can be there. You have to read it thoroughly, and we are not going to be okay. What was the name of the father and name of the father is written in the passage? No, do not expect that kind of questions in passages. The tone of the writer in the second paragraph is emotional, joyful. In that way, I am just giving you example, which is not present. You have to read the paragraph and you have to extract. Ki okay, kis tone me writer ne likha hai? Fine. So you have to be smart worker at that time. And read with understanding only. Then uh, two passages will be there. Then we have section B, writing and grammar. I am just discussing what is mentioned in sample paper. Fine. They have mentioned eighteen questions, but they provide better options. We will not be giving you options. Options will not be there in your paper. so they have mentioned 14 out of 18 but you expect 14 and only then section b writing and grammar total 10 questions they have mentioned 10 to 12 10 to 14 bhi ho sakte hain aapke they have mentioned 10 so itne to honge clear then after that section c literature they have mentioned 26 questions उन्होंने थर्टी लिखा है क्योंकि वो चॉइस देते हैं वी वॉन्ट गिव यू चॉइस दैट फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स फाइन टोटल फिफ्टी मार्क्स सो दिस इज द वे योर सेक्शन आर डिवाइडेड और इट डज नॉट लिटरली मीन की फोर्टीन है तो फोर्टीन ये टेन का हो सकता है ये फोर्टीन का हो सकता है फाइन ये सिक्सटीन का भी हो सकता है ये ट्वेंटी फोर का हो सकता है बेसिकली ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू मार्क्स लिटरेचर लेके चलो मिनिमम This is maximum. Fine, maximum range I have written minimum or आगे बेरी हो सकता. Clear to all of you. Now the kind of questions uh, you can see on the screen, but I'm not going to solve it. You, everybody, I have already uh, uh, we have shared the PDF with you in the WhatsApp group. You can take the print out or you can solve. Fine for your practice. ये ये आपके ऊपर है. Now see, there are six paragraphs in the first passage, based on nature. Nature is our mother, our first teacher. The lessons taught by nature and all. Fine. 
so after that based on your understanding answer the eight questions so according to the author which lesson is taught by nature to us they have given four options the category of questions now you will be getting in passages it can be simple a b c d options will be there in all that is there now they can give some dialogue of the speaker from the passage or outside the passage some dialogues are given what does it show about the speaker number 1 he is strong and weak or strong number 2 is weak number 3 is determined encouraging in that way after reading the dialogue you should be able to know ki acha ye kya quality show kar raha hai par wo quality mention nahi hai passage mein what my point so this way you have to infer it you have to understand it uh what message is given by this paragraph what qualities of uh, birds or squirrels display when they warn others of possible danger ki kaun si skill show hui hai kis character ki by this action means the reaction of the action they are asking you cause and effect they can ask you see the okay beti last boy then they have given ki underlined words are there in a b c d uh wait underlined words that can suitably replace the word lurking lurking so vocabulary should be good wahan pe words hai wandering aimlessly remaining hidden pouncing with force walking boldly pouncing with force first option is the answer you are correct lurking is wandering aimlessly Lurk, danger is lurking on my head that way. pouncing with force this you have to find out fine so means i'm just giving you one word carrying different meanings and all seem to be same then beta unhone next jo diya hai qualities from paragraph 3 that author wants us to imbibe author humme kaun si qualities dalna chahta hai unhone 1 to 5 de diye this is the way ye wale questions kaise attempt karoge jaise see yahan pe likha hai ki acceptive first is acceptive passionate aise questions bhi aane aapko third four five one to five qualities are given emotional resilient and fifth is perceptive now passage read kiya they are asking ki these are the five qualities dhyan se sunna beta which author wants us to imbibe isme se kaun si correct hai Which qualities author wants us? Option A, B, a bit question. Shuru nii hua hai. This is the just question going on. So option A, two, four, and five. Option B, one, three, and four. Abhi aapko answer nahi pata kyunki aapne passage nahi read kiya. That is in the paper. One, four, five. Three, four, five. I am just telling you how to attempt such questions. ऐसे क्वेश्चन आएंगे आपको हाउ यू विल सी आपने पैसेज रीड किया फाइन इफ यू आर वेरी श्योर दैट क्वालिटी नंबर सपोज फोर सपोज फाइन सी क्वालिटी नंबर फोर इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑल द ऑप्शन यू आर वेरी श्योर की रिजिलियंट तो है ही है दैट ऑथर वॉन्ट्स अस टू बी हैव पेशेंस रिजिलियंट मीन दर्सन हु हैज पेशेंस देन यू रीड okay uh, author also wants us to be acceptive he we should accept everything ye bhi aap sure ho it means one or four aapka sure ho gaya idhar to aapki kaun si options correct hai b and c but you are not sure about the other options one and four and three and five now emotional and perceptive you will be confused between the two then again read the passage clear then make sure ki perceptive is one who's able to perceive the things fine emotional to bilkul alag level chala gaya i am not giving you the answer of the passage fine is to kuch aur bhi hoga i am just telling you aise questions ko attempt kaise karte so you should be sure about the qualities kyunki ye ye quality to theek hai tick kiya 
and choose those options. Okay, okay. Between these two, I have confusion. Yes, Vivan got my point. So in that means, this is the kind of you know at which level you have reached. जितने भी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स है ना चाहे वो एम बी ए है इंजीनियरिंग है और एनी अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव ऑफ टीचिंग ऑल्सो वी हैव गिवन सी टेट एंड पी टेट एग्जाम ऑल्सो इन एवरी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम सच काइंड ऑफ अजर्शन एंड रीजनिंग काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू आर डूइंग एन टी एस तो आपको पता ही होगा फाइन सो वैसा ही लेवल अब आपके क्वेश्चन पेपर्स का भी आ गया तो यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी ब्रेनी एंड फॉर दैट डोंट वेस्ट योर एनर्जी ऑन टू पेड थिंग्स पहले हम अपने आप को इतना थका देते हैं अवर ब्रेन गेट्स टायर्ड इन स्टूपेड थिंग्स एंड वी आर नॉट एबल टू यू नो यूटिलाइज अवर एनर्जी ओवर हियर एंड देन बेटा सेकंड पैसेज इज गिवन यस ऑनलाइन चिल्ड्रन गेटिंग माय पॉइंट कीप सेंडिंग मी योर फीडबैक Yes. So, uh, is it clear? Fine. Is it clear, brother? Fourteen, ten, twenty-six equal to fifty. This will be your and such sort of questions. So, let me continue. Second passage again. It's about research from the Publishers Association. Six questions. Second passage is carrying. Uh, but a true false kind of can be also be there. Select the option that is true for the two statements given below. So, वहाँ पे दो statements लिखी हुई हैं. Revenue generated at the box office have increased. Majority of the top films in UK are based on published material. अब वहाँ पे नीचे options क्या हैं आपकी? One is the result of two. One is the reason of two. One is independent of two. मतलब one और two आपस में अलग-अलग statements हैं इनका कोई लेना देना नहीं है. Fine. One contradicts two. इसका meaning क्या है? कि one and two statements आपस में opposite हैं. Contradiction is काटती हैं एक दूसरे को. So here you have to apply your brain. We cannot tell कि हाँ answer है ये तो. Directly जैसे छोटे होते करते थे. It's not like that. अगेन सेम ऐसे वन थ्री एंड फोर वन टू थ्री एंड फाइव ऐसे वाला है ट्रू फॉल्स है ब्लैंक्स आर गिवेन सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन यू कैन वेरी वेल सी लेट्स नाउ आई बी गिविंग यू क्वेश्चन ऑन ग्रामर एंड राइटिंग पे पहुंच चुके हैं नाउ यू गिव मी दी आंसर द हॉस्पिटल बोर्ड क्लियरली मैंशन दैट You dash smoke in the hospital as it is a health hazard for all. You cannot. You must not. You need not. You might not. So must not is the correct answer. Fine. So easy ones will also be there. Fine. In which you can easily find difficult ones and moderate ones. All categories will be there. Next is there is never dash patrol left after Rahul uses the car. There is never dash patrol left after Rahul uses the car. Much patrol left, little patrol left, many patrol left, a little patrol left. Why a little? Why? Much patrol left after him. Fine. Yes, I am taking driving lessons now. Hopefully, I dash my driving test by November. By November, I will take my driving test by November. I would pass my driving test by November. I will be taking my driving test by November. I will have taken. Would pass. Yes, correct answer. Which option displays the correct change of the following to reported speech? Again, reported speech. Hai. Uh, long sentences are there, but 
ऑफलाइन चिल्ड्रन वॉन्ट बी एबल टू सी इट ठीक है उन्होंने एक लाइन दी हुई है आई टोल्ड दमन जी टू सेंड यू एन ई मेल थ्री डेज अगो दिस यू विल बी एबल टू डू इजिली she told that the manji had mailed you 3 days then she informed this you will be able to do theek hai kuch zyada mushkil nahi hai ago changes to before theek hai to do sentences mein before is given b and d mein to pehle aap usko tick kar loge then b and d mein se dekhoge the most suitable answer kaun sa clear the dog dash ye tenses ki base hai beta the dog dash under the chair before the children arrived has been hiding under the chair the dog was hit under the chair the dog have hit the dog had hidden under the chair before the children arrived the last option is the correct answer next beta writing ke upar questions now this is the most confusing thing you were asking that what sort of questions we will be getting you are devashree a resident of siliguri assam you have to write a letter to the editor of a national daily drawing attention towards the difficulty faced by differently abled people at tourist places select the option with relevant aspects that devashree should select for this letter niche unhone panch points diye hue hain newspapers name attached the proof of newspaper subscription devashree's address formal tone expected date of the letter's receipt usme se they are asking ki kaun se panch mein se kaun se compulsory points hain 1 and 2 1 and 5 2 3 and 4 1 3 5 in that way so you have to choose obviously uh न्यूज पेपर सब्सक्रिप्शन का भी मैं देखा है आपने कभी भी नहीं देखा फॉर्मल टोन है यस एडिटर्स लेटर में फाइन देवश्रीज एड्रेस विल बी देयर यस शी इज देंडर सो यू हैव टू टेक ओके थ्री इज देयर फॉर्मल टोन फोर इज देयर इन दैट वे यू हैव टू फाइंड दी आंसर क्लियर आई एम जस्ट मेंटली प्रिपेयरिंग यू की क्वेश्चन कैसे आने आगे है सिलेक्ट द अप्रोप्रिएट सब्जेक्ट फॉर दिस लेटर ड्रॉइंग अटेंशन टूवर्ड्स डिफरेंटली एबल्ड पीपल द डिफरेंटली एबल्ड निगलेक्टेड और मिस अंडरस्टूड ऑप्शन सी टूरिस्ट प्लेसेस आर एन इनकनवीनियंस टू डिफरेंटली एबल्ड पीपल फोर्थ इनकनवीनियंस फेस्ड बाय डिफरेंटली एबल्ड एट टूरिस्ट स्पोर्ट्स दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर फाइन लास्ट मंथ जहां पे बिल्कुल क्लियरली मेंशन है द सब्जेक्ट इज इनकनवीनियंस फेस बाय डिफरेंट एबल्ड एट टूरिस्ट स्पोर्ट्स व्हिच ऑप्शन शुड देवश्री सेलेक्ट टू एलैबोरेट ऑन द डिफिकल्टीज फेस्ड बाय द डिफरेंट एबल नीचे चार बॉक्सेस गिवन है चारों में उन्होंने थ्री थ्री पॉइंट्स गिवन है ए बॉक्स में भी थ्री बी में भी सी में भी डी में भी यू हैव टू चूज वन बॉक्स क्लियर सी उन्होंने एक बॉक्स में लिखा हुआ है अनक्लीन टॉयलेट्स हाई टिकट प्राइजेस इज इट रेलिवेंट विद डिफरेंटली एबल नो अनसुटेबल विजिटिंग टाइमिंग एक बॉक्स में लिखा हुआ है ये भी अप्लाई नहीं होता है एबसेंस ऑफ व्हील चेयर रैम्स यस अनक्लीन टॉयलेट्स नो सेकेंड पॉइंट यहां से भी फिर लास्ट एक ऑप्शन बॉक्स बचता है एबसेंस ऑफ रैम्स फॉर व्हील चेयर यस tourist guides untrained in sign language yes lack of braille script tourist pamphlets yes this c option is the correct answer in this clear to yahan pe aapko brain apply karna padega again that which is suitable then they have mentioned complete the suggestions which devashri give theek hai then a option mein kuch suggestions hain b mein hai c mein hai d mein hai then you have to choose the right one yeah ek hi letter ke basis pe panch panch questions aaye one letter is there and five questions on the basis of that zarur beta solve karna hai paper clear
how she will conclude her letter i hope that my letter will dash my letter will help spread awareness about the issue my letter will lead to action against all authorities responsible my letter will improve circulation of national daily my letter will result in positive reviews by the readers first one find that about the issue yes beta jo then beta last part section c is literature find first passage nelson mandela me se aaya hua hai aapka find very important chapter nelson mandela and five questions on the basis of that extract only what was the unintended effect of long oppression तो नहीं सुन रहे ना बाकियों को सुनने दो वट वॉज द अन इंटेंडेड इफेक्ट ऑफ लॉन्ग ऑपरेशन इट मेड द पीपल इन डिफरेंट टू इन जस्टिस इट मेड द पीपल रिजेक्ट ऑपरेशन इट इंफ्लुएंस द जनरेशन टू फाइट अगेंस्ट इन जस्टिस इट मेड पीपल एक्सेप्ट देयर ऑपरेशन इट इंफ्लुएंस द जनरेशन टू फाइट फाइन सो नेल्सन मंडेला कंपेयर डैश टू डायमंड his countrymen patriots wise men oppressed patriots fine so in that way they have asked select the suitable word from the except ab aaiye aapne ntsc mein bhi kiya hoga jaise hote hai na horse is to stable cows is to dash Cows live under the shed. Fine, तो उसमें ऑप्शन में शेड है तो आप शेड को इन दैट वे डेप्थ इज टू हाइट कंपेशन इज टू डैश डेप्थ इज टू हाइट कंपेशन इज टू डैश कंपेशन इज टू विजडम कंपेशन इज टू ऑपरेशन कंपेशन इज टू स्ट्रगल और कंपेशन इज टू करेज डेप्थ इज टू हाइट है जितना गहरा होगा हाइट भी बढ़ेगी ना डेप्थ इज टू हाइट कंपेशन इज टू विजडम ऑपरेशन स्ट्रगल करेज करेज और स्ट्रगल में से है ना कंफ्यूजन है ना इसमें उसी वे में कंपेयर करना पड़ेगा ना डेप्थ और हाइट को जितना कंपेशन होएगा पर ये मैच नहीं कर रहा करेज भी कंपेशन से मैच नहीं करता ऐसे तो विजडम नहीं हो सकता दिस इज क्वाइट माइंड बॉगलिंग क्वेश्चन ऑपरेशन इज व्हेन देर इज किया तो है हमने oppressed the society and there is pressure on this we will see fine ye dekhte hain true false are given beta 1 is true 2 is false 2 is the opposite of 1 fir box is given hai same kind of question the boy the boy uh ikon si poem me se the boy is learning how to stand up ball poem me se the boy is learning how to stand up this means that he is learning to be dash in the face of difficulties he is learning to be patient he is learning to be resilient he is learning to be defensive or judgmental resilient is the answer in this which option lists who is speaking these lines lines kahan pe hai the poet says money is external uh, lines hai money is external he is learning will be behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss how to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up the lines given a ball poem ki poem का नेम भी गिवन है 
विच ऑप्शन लिस्ट हु इज स्पीकिंग दीज लाइन ऑब्जर्वर बोल रहे हैं द बॉय इज अ पेरेंट द बॉल सेल्समैन अ फ्रेंड Yes, the person who is observing this incident, he is saying this. According to the poet, from whom do we mostly learn about loss? Elders, experiences, books, teachers. Yes, experiences, teachers. Thief story. Me se beta extract given hai. even though hari singh followed anil casually it was a careless action it was a staged move it was an unusual decision it was a bold step staged move his name pura plan kiya hua tha na that i will be following him i'll be asking him if he can hire me for job and all fine ha staged move from the following options hari singh identify hari singh's intention behind the appealing smile who smile kar raha tha what does it show deceit harm hatred jealousy deceit ab aapki vocabulary bahut poor hai aapko pata hi nahi hai deceit ka meaning kya deceit means to cheat someone so deceit is the right answer here select the option listing anil's characteristics as revealed in the extract अनिल कैसा था अन अज्यूमिंग काइंड डिटर्मिंड नेव ह्यूमरस पांच क्वालिटीज गिवन है तो नीचे ए बी सी डी ऑप्शन है वन टू थ्री फोर ऐसे करके लेंको इज डैश फार्मर लेंको इज डैश वेन ही सेज That's what they say. No one dies of hunger. ये लाइन लेंको ने बोली है लेंको इज डैश वेन ही सेज दिस ही इज डाउटफुल ही इज स्ट्रेस्ड ही इज कंफ्यूज और ही इज डिसमिसिव वट यू मीन बाई डिसमिसिव तेरा आइडिया बहुत अच्छा लगता है प्रिंसी का ही इज नॉट कंफ्यूज हेयर फाइन Yes, he's dismissive. Next is in the poem "Dust of Snow," which negative symbols have been used to create a positive effect? Hemlock tree and crow, crow and snow, snow and hemlock tree, crow and dust. A option is the answer. Identify the option that describes Griffin. Option A, greedy yet kind. Option B, proud and honorable. Option C, considerate and selfless. Option D, brilliant but lawless. Yes, last option is the correct. Yeah, ऐसे क्वेश्चन देखो clearly आपको पता है यहाँ पे. ऐसे आप लेके चलो ten to fifteen questions you will be very sure. Ten to fifteen you will be very confused. and rest of moderate confusion between the two fine what does the exclamation this is the triumph of surgery my by mrs pumphrey mean triumph of surgery ka kya mean hai the surgery was successful the mistress could take back her pet the doctor was a great veterinarian the planned venture was fruitful surgery was successful last option beta the planned venture was fruitful whatever doctor planned for him it was fine and he could get results out of it so planned venture was fruitful What does the exclamation? This is a triumph of surgery by Mrs. Pumphrey mean? Option D is planned venture. So, उसने यही इसी वजह से Mrs. Pumphrey ने बोला था ना, this is the triumph of surgery. 
कि वट एवर यू हैव प्लान इज नाउ वी गॉट रिजल्ट मेरे ख्याल से तो लास्ट ऑप्शन भी है ऑनलाइन चिल्ड्रन बेटा एनी डाउट सॉरी बेटा आई मिस यूर चार्ट बिकॉज देर आर मेरी स्टूडेंट्स इन ऑफलाइन क्लास ऑल्सो सो आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू सी दिन यू आर राइटिंग इन द चैट बॉक्स बिकॉज आई हैड शेयर द स्क्रीन सो एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग द पैटर्न एंड मेक श्योर बेटा ओके बेटा बेल हो गई है ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर एग्जाम